How's it going everyone, Shifty here and I'm back with another Destiny 2 video. With the release of Beyond Light, we of course get plenty of new things to do. From campaign missions to exotic quests, I've got you covered right here on this channel. I posted my full playthrough of the campaign on my channel yesterday, and today I'm going to be posting a guide on how to get the Salvation's Grip Exotic Grenade Launcher. Salvation's Grip is a heavy grenade launcher and it's the first stasis weapon in Destiny 2. Before I get into the guide, if you end up enjoying the video or finding it useful, make sure to like and subscribe. I'm really excited to make videos covering Beyond Light and I'd love to have you join me on that journey. Anyway, grab a cold drink and come chill with me while I help you get the Salvation's Grip. In order to acquire the quest, you need to complete the Beyond Light campaign and when you're prompted to return to Commander Zavala, you will also be able to grab the quest from the Drifter. It's called the Stasis Prototype. The first step is called Gathering Intel and it requires you to get intel by defeating fallen captains and servitors on Europa. For this step you can either do it casually while exploring Europa or you can get it done fairly quickly by going to the Cadmus Ridge area and into the Bray Exoscience facility. Here you will find a mixture of captains and servitors throughout. The spawns are somewhat random so one run you may find several captains and servitors but the next you may only find just a few. I should warn you that enemies towards the end in an area called Eternity could be a bit difficult depending upon your power level. Once this part is done you will be on a step called locating the prototype. This requires you to complete an empire hunt, but in order to do so you must complete Reclaiming Europa, Empire's Fall, and the Dark Priestess quests. Reclaiming Europa can be acquired from Zavala after the campaign has ended and it requires you to talk to Varix. He will have you complete a mission called Sabotaging Salvation. This mission is pretty straightforward and shouldn't take you too long to complete. When that's done you need to visit Varix again. He will then give you Empire's Fall which requires you to complete two sabotage quests from Varix. This is pretty straightforward, there is a rectangle labeled Sabotage and you simply grab two of them and complete them. I had to defeat combatants on Europa and complete eight bounties for Varix. Repeatable bounties do count towards those eight. When that's done, speak with Varix once more. You will now have to do a mission found in the northern part of the map in the Technocrat's Iron. This mission is called the Aftermath and it will require you to kill some Fallen and a Walker Tank. If you are going in solo, the recommended power is 1180. It is possible to do this under leveled and solo, but the Walker Tank can hit you pretty hard so you gotta be careful. If you are going in solo, there is a small room behind where the tank spawns that you can use for cover. This will help protect you from both the tank and the adds that spawn throughout the fight. When this is all done, return to Varix who will give you the Dark Priestess questline. The first step here is to gather flecks of dark from Fallen in the Cadmus Ridge area. Head over there and take out some Fallen. Precision kills increase the chance that the fleck drops. Next, you'll need to head to the Eventide Ruins to help a friendly Fallen Skiff escape. This is exactly the same as what you did in the campaign to help a Skiff escape. There are three devices keeping the Skiff in place. You'll need to tamper with each device which will spawn a stasis wielding Fallen enemy. Once that enemy is defeated, you'll get a code to disable that device. Do this for all three and the skiff will be free. Once this is done, there will be a blue marker in the area. This is the next mission you must complete. It will be very similar to the final campaign mission, except instead of Aramis at the end, there will be a different boss. Since this mission counts as an empire hunt, you will complete the locating prototype step of the exotic quest. Next, you'll be on a step called Stasis Practice, and this requires you to eliminate combatants with or affected by your stasis abilities. You will need to eliminate 100 enemies this way. To do this, if you've got any exotics that give you double melee, double grenade, or help regen abilities, I recommend using them. I used Monte Carlo and the Stasis Warlock melee for most of this. If you want, you can hit up your favorite Lost Sector. I was high enough that I just went into a Lost Sector on Europa. When that's all done, the next step is called Lost Sector Rendezvous. You will need to head to the Concealed Void Lost Sector. This can be found in the Asterion Abyss on Europa. Just complete the Lost Sector and you will meet Spider's Associates at the end to get the skiff codes. When that's done, you'll need to head back to the Drifter in the Tower Annex. He tasks you with Stealing Stasis, another mission you need to complete on Europa. This one is pretty straightforward, I didn't have any problems doing it solo so I don't think that you will either. Towards the middle of the mission you will be able to steal the Salvation's Grip and wield it, but you will have to escape the Fallen City. At the end you team up with Spider's Associates to take on some Fallen Briggs. 
When that's all done, head back to the drifter and the quest will now be complete. You have your Salvation's Grip. Alright, that's it for the guide on how to get Salvation's Grip. If you ended up enjoying the video or finding it useful, make sure to like and subscribe. I just want to thank you all for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.